Hi, everybody. I don't know if anybody can hear me and our connection. My connection is not fantastic today, so I don't know how this is going to go. But since you guys shared with me or came on board with me last week when I said that my publishing company for One Skein Crochet um, has filed for bankruptcy, I wanted to let you know that my editor has told me that the book division has been told that One Skein, that all the books for F&W Interweave um, are full steam ahead. Hey, Ruthie, thanks for joining me. So Hello, Kim. Hello. So I thought I would take a few minutes. I don't know how long I've got. Maybe, I don't know, hopefully 20 minutes I can get out of uh, the daylight that we have going in the connection and the uh, dog barking and, you know, general chaos. <laughs> so the dog has lost his toy. But if you give me one minute, maybe I can uh, give you a book sneak peek. Hobie. Hobie. Sorry about that. The dog turned his toy further than his little leash could reach. <laughs> hey, everybody. So, um, hey, hello from coast to Costa Rica. Hello, Katia. Hello. Um, so anyway, so I think the book is still on. Like my editor is telling me that they have been told that all the books are full steam ahead for F and W interweave. I don't know how they plan to do that, but hey, whatever. <laughs> Let's just go with it, right? <laughs> hey, Carlene. Hey, Carlene, a package is on its way to you. I owe you an email, so but it is on its way. So hello. Hello, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me. So since we're celebrating the fact that I have been told that all books for Interweave are back on target full steam ahead, and I, when I heard about the, um, when I heard about F and W Interweave um, filing bankruptcy, I asked my editor to like hurry up and mail all the projects back to me. <laughs> Because I was worried that something would happen and um, that I wouldn't get them back. And I felt like if I was going to self-publish, then I need to get them back. So hello, hello, hello. Okay, so anyway, the, my projects all arrived today. So that's good. So I was going to open the box and show you one. So let's see. I'm going to open the box. It's a big box. <gasps> But can you imagine all the projects for one bo book fit all in this box? I hope they're all in there. <laughs> okay, that should be my thumbnail, don't you think? Okay, okay. So I'm gonna open this box and maybe hopefully share a project with you as um, kind of a reward for hanging in there with me um, as I go through this crazy process, the ups and downs of publishing. And I'll say it again. I'll say it on the internet. So that means that it's got to be like true, right? Well, maybe I better be careful what I say. So I keep saying that I will never, ever publish a book with a traditional publisher. Ever. Again. I keep saying that. And I've said that every book the last six books but anyway I really mean it this time <laughs> now Hobie, oh my gosh I'm trying to get the package open I guess the dog is not thrilled about the noise oh my goodness so anyway so I the alternatives ter, alternatives would be to publish a book on my own or if somebody gave me such a great deal that I would change my mind, I have the right to re change my mind. But the truth is, I never want to do this again. Like, it's been a crazy process. Hold on, Hobie. I guess they really didn't want anything to happen with the project. Okay, why are you barking at me? Stop barking at me. All right. Oh my gosh. The oh yeah, everybody, please hit the thumbs up. Thank you, Ruth. I appreciate it. Okay, I don't know why he's barking at me. 
probably because I'm not talking to him. I'm so this talk, I guess they didn't know anything had happened to these projects. Oh my gosh, the six the suspense is killing you, right? <laughs> okay, there's one side. One side. Maybe that's enough to get through some of it. Hold on, buddy. I know, he's anxious to see it too. All right, let's turn you loose so that you'll stop barking. Okay, go. We just came back from a two mile walk and so he is muddy. And I just thought I'd better get in here before the daylight stops. You wanna say hi to everybody? <laughs> two mile walk. <laughs> you, think, <laughs> you think that got the energy out? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> oh my gosh, this dog. Oh my gosh. He's so crazy. Okay. What? Okay. First thing. Okay. First thing. First thing on the top is what I should. Should I show you the very first thing that's on top? Um, I am going to. Okay. You've already seen on the cover of the book. So you've already seen the purse. On the cover of the book. So here it's back and it's all in one piece and it's ready to go. I intend to do YouTube videos for um, as many of the projects as I can. So here's one. Good, good. So you've already seen that. That's not really a sneak peek. Okay, so let's see. Oh, what do I want to show you? What do I want to show you? Which one do I want to show you? Okay, I'm going to show you one of my favorites. Well, they're all favorites. This is the horizontal slouch hat. And it is in Barocco vintage. I think it's vintage, if I remember correctly. Anyway, I'm so glad to have this hat back. So let's get real close. So there's of horizontal banding going on and it's slouchy and you can make it as slouchy as you want and I just loved it it was so much so easy and so fun and it took one skein of yarn so this is it's you can't tell it's kind of a dusty tomato color and so easy to make it's like two stitches the increases are very very easy and it's the horizontal slouch hat, and it is in one skein crochet. So I'll give you a nice close up there. And I would the double the um, stitch here to make the horizontal banding I used already in my special stitches playlist. It is called the double slip stitch, and I will likely do a video of some sort to help you with this hat, but. There's a sneak peek for today. So it's not just the tote bag on the front, but there's hats in the book too. And I just said more than one hat because there is more than one hat. <laughs> so this is my new favorite hat until I get out one of the other hats. <laughs> so I can think of three hats in the book off the off the top of my head. <laughs> So this, there's this one and then there's two more, but I thought I would um, come and just spend a few minutes with you guys since I had a few minutes and just tell you that I'm excited because it looks like the book is, um, yeah, it looks coral online. It's actually kind of a red, dusty tomato color. So I think it's like maybe even a garnet. Like if I get close, you get a better look at it. It's kind of a, the color's a little truer. Anyway, so I am happy that the book seems to be going on. Um, my editor told me that they have been told full steam ahead with the book. So that's exciting. And so the projects arrived home today and I thought, oh, I will go ahead and reward all of you and your loyalty and support with a sneak peek from the book besides the one on the cover that you've already seen.
So anyway, that's what's going on. What do you guys, oh, the dog. Oh my gosh, he's running around. Like I did not just literally take him on a 40 minute walk through the park. Hills and everything. Totally crazy, oh, totally crazy dog. So anyway, he's acting like he's never, he's acting like he's been cooped up all day. I've been home. Well, I've not been home. Somebody's been home off and on all day long. So there's no reason for him to act like that. What are you guys doing? Oh, did you like the pup stitch video? The pup stitch video that went out um, yesterday, the Puffs aligned pup stitches video and the waddle stitch video. It doesn't sound like he's going through the wall. He's like, you've seen the videos, right? On my just for fun playlist. He's doing his like run back and forth down the hallway thing. But there's Theo. Should I grab Theo? He's like looking not amused. The dog is running laps around the house. At least I know the dog is empty because I just took him on a two mile walk. Come here, buddy. Here's Theo. Theo's not amused. <laughs> Theo is not amused by all the dog shenanigans. No, leave it. He's like trying to bite Theo's tail. <laughs> my poor Theo. My poor Theo. Oh my gosh. So I hope you guys have liked the um, the tapestry video and the aligned puff stitches video and the waddle stitch video that all came out the last two weeks. <laughs> and I started another video for you, but then I decided that the yarn was too dark. Are you looking out the window, Theo? Oh. <laughs> I decided the yarn was too dark. And um, so I just need to start up, start over on another swatch so it's easier for you to see. Hello. Oh, thank you. He is my favorite. I know I'm not supposed to have favorites, but <laughs> he's my favorite. He's the most chill. He's been grooming Hobie lately. It's so cute. And Lord knows Hobie needs grooming. And Hobie is like trying to get at the cat. <laughs> They do wrestle and play, and Hobie likes to um, chase Theo. Theo likes to chase Hobie. Well, that's weird. It's a very unusual that a siren goes by our house. Very, very unusual. Okay. Oh, here goes, there goes another one. Oh, goodness. Pray for them, whatever's going on. It's all right. It's it's chaos. It's absolute, absolute chaos at our house. <laughs> I better keep going. Oh my gosh. Be nice. Leave it. Anyway, oh, back to back to news. Let's see. Mara has finished her blanket. Oh, I gotta show it to you. Let me show you. Okay, so. Mara is going to Seoul, South Korea, and she uh, made a blanket to auction off. And let me show it to you. So give me one more minute. You guys talk, talk amongst yourselves. Kobe. So it is purple. It is a big purple granny square with a pico edging. And it is that big. <laughs> I need to weave in one or two more ends for her because I said I would do that. And I am a, apparently I'm a snowplow mom. <laughs> so I'm not just a helicopter mom. Apparently now I'm a snowplow mom. Have you heard that on the news yet? <laughs> so this big purple blanket she made all by herself, except I am doing the ends for her. And it has a little lovely Pico edging. And I'm so proud because this is the biggest project she's ever made. And she made it in like a week. She totally made it in a week. So it's going to um, go up for auction. So if you know of anybody who needs a big, beautiful purple blanket, then we'll steer them our way. And then we're also working on her off-to-college blanket. 
the uh, white and blue squares. So there's at least, I think there's three videos up on how to make those squares, including the, um, the introductory video, video with Mara where we looked at swatches and then the video where I was reteaching her, which is kind of funny. And then I did instructional videos for, um, for how to make the squares. And so it's got kind of, it's a, they're granny squares, but then the final edging row of each square is a, um, what did I call it? Mosaic style stitch around the edge. So, hey, Brian, welcome. Good to see you. Yeah, I couldn't believe how fast she made that, that purple blanket. It was like 11 skeins of yarn and she made it all in like a week. It was very fast. So I'm so proud. Can't help it. And so, um, so now the off to college blanket is the one that we need to get rocking and rolling on. Ooh, like what else is new? So you may, you guys follow Marley Bird. Well, she released on her channels um, that she did a cowl book, and she she also released that she made two sweaters in 36 hours or something. But there was a per cute little purple sweater on a little girl. And then I think it was black with a little rocket design for a little boy. Yes, who has a sweater design in that book? Yay! So Marley needed some help and I was glad to oblige. So um, keep, in, keep tuned with her so that when she releases uh, more photos that maybe you will catch um, the little sweater vest that I made. I don't think I'm spilling the tea, but um, so stay tuned for her projects because I have a project in there. So that was so fun to collaborate with her in that way. And so those of you who are just joining in, um, I released the sneak peek of um, a sneak peek of the book, the horizontal slouch hat. So I really enjoyed this hat and I hope that you'll love it too. And I think it's very stylish and it's my new favorite hat. And it's a tomato red color, kind of a, um, not tweed, I wouldn't say tweed. It's kind of a heathered tomato color. Anyway, so we got to celebrate the fact that this looks like the book is actually going through. So yay for that. Anyway, what's going on with you guys? What's going on with you guys? Hmm. The dynamic duo. Thank you. Yeah, she Marley makes things happen. <laughs> she makes things happen. She's got, you know, balls in the air and, and projects everywhere in between the podcast and the YouTube channel and the books and, you know, Red Heart sponsorship and um, the yarn, the chic sheep. So she's got amazing things happening for her. And so that's what more can you ask for? That's fantastic. So things are going pretty well here. The book is finally done. Although there was another question from my editor today that I need to answer, but, um, but it's supposed to be off and off to the races, off to uh off to get printed and ready to go. So I think we're still on schedule for the uh, July release. You just learned mosaic crochet and read the charts. It's been fun. Good. I'm so glad. Um, mosaic crochet is a lot of fun. So I think the, uh, the introduction to mosaic crochet with the final round of the off to college blanket um, is, is a fun little tiny nod to mosaic without it being like a big um, overwhelming project. Let's see. Got Nutcracker Soldier's blanket thighs done. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Got Nutcracker Soldier's blanket thighs done. Hmm. I don't, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not understanding. Try again, <laughs> but thanks for being here. <laughs> your your comment matters. Okay, are you calming down now, Hobie? Mm, are you calming down? Oh my gosh, he's so crazy. When do puppies calm down, y'all? When? Like when? He's seven months old. <laughs> like when is he gonna calm down? I think that he um he's supposed to be a Chihuahua poodle, but now I'm thinking. 
he must be a chihuahua, a poodle Jack Russell. He's a jackadoodle. <laughs> he must be a uh, jackadoodle, a uh, Jack Russell ter uh, terrier poodle. That's what he looks like when you Google it online. And he's got so much energy. And he's about 11 or 12 pounds now, I think. I don't know when they... Yes, I'm, that's what I'm saying, Ruthie. Jack, Ter Jack Russell's have a lot of energy. And that's why I'm thinking this dog is really, I mean, they lied. <laughs> I think they lied to us. <laughs> I don't think he's a poodle chihuahua. I think he's a Jack Russell terrier poodle. So I don't think he's a puawa. I think he's a jackadoodle. <laughs> so anyway, yes, yes, he's crazy. So he's seven months old and I do not know when he's going to calm down. So I... He's rocked my world. He's turned this house upside down. <laughs> but he's been fun. Can't complain about that. Good luck with him calming down. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> because I want him to calm down. He's not going to calm down. So at least he's not running races through the house anymore at the moment. But wait till a car drives by <laughs> or a siren or the doorbell. And then, whoa crazy all over again he, jack a doodle yeah so um we took him to training patrick our son took him to seven weeks of um, dog training and we in that lovely contained environment <laughs> we got him to do like sit and stay and place and come and all of that good stuff here nope <laughs> he'll do some of it at the house like you know, when he wants to, but when he's excited, you can just throw all that out the window. That's just not happening. And if we're outside, oh, forget it. He's just too excited about being outside and seeing people and dogs and stuff when we go to the park, but he doesn't, he doesn't listen to anything we say when he's out and about. Okay. Nutcracker soldiers blanket almost done. Okay, Jane, thanks for telling us again, because I, uh, they couldn't understand it the first time. Okay. Oh, some agility bars. Oh, I bet he would. I bet he would like some agility things to play with. He's actually quiet at the moment. Maybe he's taking a nap. One can always hope. I don't know where he is. A quiet dog is a dangerous thing. I do not know where he is. That's not good, but maybe I should just hide. We do not have a fenced yard. We have a really big yard. We have a really big yard, but we have like a um, a 20 foot leash. No, is it that long? How long is it? A really, really long like practice leash. So he, he really, he's a little dog. He can run pretty far when, when we still have a handle on him. So um, we, we can let him run just loose out in the yard, but I don't trust him to come back. <laughs> so we have to keep him. Is he eating my shoes? He has eaten one pair of Patrick's shoes and one of my dress shoes. The dogs calm down at five. I'm hoping you said five months and not five years old. <laughs> Hey, Adele, thanks so much for being here. So, yeah. Um, oh, I hear it. You know what he also likes? My crochet tool bag. Yeah, I have a zipper pouch that Mara made for me so that she sewed a few years ago, and it's got all my hook, a lot of hooks and stuff in it. He likes to eat it. He likes to chew on it. I don't know why. So he's he's just a menace. I can pretty much keep him away from the yarn, but he wants to chew on stuff. So shoes, yes. He ate one pair of Patrick's shoes, and he ate the insole out of one of my dress shoes. So then I pulled the other insole out and bought insoles like Dr. Scholl's to put in it to save those shoes. So that worked. So he's only like ruined one pair of shoes. Now, items of clothing, I have no idea how many he's ruined. A lot. A lot. He's eaten many items of clothing. It just, it just is, it just is what it is. 
Oh my gosh. So he's a great dog. He's fun. He makes us laugh. But I think I would have rather had another cat. <laughs> he is a little stinker. <laughs> and he's so much more expensive than a cat. <laughs> Taken into the vet and a groomer and oh my goodness. So anyway, well, I better get going for now, but thank you so much, everybody, for chiming in and being with me. If you missed the beginning of this video, um, you know, there's the, a sneak peek of one of the projects um, that you didn't haven't seen for the One Game Crochet book yet. It looks like the book is All Systems Go, so that's a good thing. And so, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So thank you, Kathleen. I appreciate it. Thank you, Ruthie. So um, anyway, I guess that's about all for today. Um, I have one more day off for spring break tomorrow. So I will see if I can get a video done because I've been busy <laughs> doing. I have no idea what. <laughs> I just know that I've been busy and the bank and the post office and the grocery store and the dishwasher's out. And, um, you know, life, it happens. It's like I need a week worth of Sundays to catch up on all the things. And so that's kind of what I've gotten. So I did get out for a five mile run this morning. So that's good. So I got out for a two mile walk with the dog just now because you can just tell how calm he is <laughs> that I wore him out. <laughs> so anyway, have a great night, everybody. Thank you so much. Please hit the like button, um, the thumbs up button if you haven't already. And I will be back with another video as soon as I can. But in the meantime, please go check out the ones that you may have missed. The pu aligned puff stitches, the tapestry crochet, the waddle stitch, and anything else that you've missed along the way. And please check up on that. And uh, I will see you soon. Bye, everybody.